Hello? I'm unarmed. Come in peace. Carly? Anybody home? You're late. Ooh. Wow. If I would have known you were wearing that, I would have come in what sooner. Come here, I can't the kids are upset. Happy Halloween! Hey, happy Halloween! When can we go? Go where? Trick or treating. Mom said that you were going to take us. She did? Yes. Oh, now we're going. Hmm. Hi. Any luck? Beatrix was having a Halloween party. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. You have no idea how much I wanted this. Okay, if anyone asks, it didn't come from me. I promise I won't tell anyone. These are the only things that don't taste like tree bark. And once I start the chemo again, I won't be able to keep them down. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> what are your plans today? You know, it's been a long day, so I think I'm just going to head on home. You should call Nicholas. Or Spoon Island doesn't have many. Halloween trick-or-treaters. In fact, they don't have any. And what better place to spend Halloween than at Windermere? So you can go in and cuddle up with Nicholas in front of a fire and he can tell you real-life horror stories about his family. I'm more than capable of scaring up my own date. Thank you. Did you come all the way over here to remind me to mind my business? <laughs> and to give you this... Oh! <laughs> I love caramel toffee crunch. Where'd you find this? Uh, Barrows and Sharp in London, of course. I had it shipped in. You are such an amazing man. Isn't he an amazing man? <laughs> no arguments here. Oh. Surely the two of you have something else you'd like to do on Halloween than sit here and watch me eat this. Uh, Alexis, I'm so sorry. I, I have to take this. Um, try not to eat. All of that tonight. Okay. I can't make any promises. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, okay. See you later. Yeah. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. What? You're a prince. That's the best you can do. You know, there was a there was a time in your life when you at least made an attempt to be subtle. Subtlety is a luxury that I no longer have. Do you love her? I always will. Yes, you know that. Then what are you waiting for? Excuse me. Go. Tell her. Hurry up before she gets away. Why, why are you suddenly so eager to push Emily and I together? What? Because I want you to be happy. And I know that she makes you happy. She's the one person that can give you the kind of happiness and the kind of no, love that you no, deserve. No, 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 It's more than that. You see Emily and I as a backup for Christina and Molly, don't you? I thought Sonny was taking the kids tonight. Sonny had a last-minute business meeting. All right, Leticia. She's with their mother. Viola's sick, which means I have to stay here with Molly, and that leaves you. Yeah. Do you have a costume? Because if you don't, we're not going to get any candy. She doesn't have a costume either. Oh, she's having trouble putting it into hers. Well, I'm going to help you, sweetie. I'll be up in just a minute. You go upstairs. You finish helping Morgan and get big bags to put the candy in. The bigger, the better. Yeah, don't what? need any more candy before we go out, please. Get those to be sent me out there with three kids hyped up on sugar. As I recall, you were one of the two people that pushed me into moving in here to help take care of Molly and Christina. That's because Alexis needed a hand. Yeah, well, I need a hand. And it's going to be a piece of cake because Max has offered to drive you around in the limo. <laughs> oh, no. No, no. If we're going to do this, we are going to do this the right way. <laughs> What's that? Okay. Uh, you and I are going to take the, uh, the kids together. You're going to put Molly in a stroller, okay? And then we are going to walk from door to door. Now that you mention it, you and Emily are the only two sane people in Port Charles that are capable of taking care of my girls. Because if either father gets custody, Rick will not let Molly near Christina just out of spite. And Sonny's going to allow Carly to turn Christina into an into a empty-headed, boy-crazed cheerleader. What? Okay, I know that you want Christina and Molly to stay together. But Emily and I are just not an option. Why not? Because we're not together. Okay. And you can't rush us into a reunion that neither of us are ready for. Why not? I know that I'm doing this for my own selfish purposes, but you and Emily can provide them with, with a life that's filled with love and respect, and you are the two people that I love and respect. 
First of all, I refuse to consider that you will not be around to raise Christina and Molly yourself, okay? I just need to know that my girls are going to be taken care of. Whatever happens or doesn't happen with me and Emily, it has to be about us, okay? For all the love we had, we hurt each other badly, and I will, I, I will not put our hearts on the line until I, I am sure that she feels safe with me. Juke a treat. <laughs> I'll take the treat. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. It's high. Actually, you. Yeah. I've got some more treats for you. <gasps> come on in, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Hi. <laughs> wow. Look, Molly, I'm a cheerleader. What happened to the fairy costume? Oh, fairies are overrated. I should be grateful that she didn't bleach her hair blonde. All right, come over. I thought that you want to be part of the fun, Here, you know? I do. And you are me. You're me. Yeah, it's very good. Oh, oh, I love this. I'm yeah, I had nothing to do with that. I, I didn't pick that up. You guys ready? Everybody, everybody say, uh, candy! Candy! candy. candy. Yay! <laughs> so that's a real camera. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you guys going walking? Um, well, we thought we'd start on uh, Spring Street and uh, then wind around to Maple, uh, North Yale, and then uh, end up on Shoreline Drive. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's very ambitious. Yeah, that's yeah. what I said. Well, candy's a good incentive, you know? Right? We are going to trick and treat until yeah! we drop! Yay! Alexis? <laughs> Hey, I can come back if oh, this is a bad please, time. Don't let me scare you off twice in one night. No, you didn't scare me off earlier. Is there anything I can do? You can remind me that crying is self-indulgent and counterproductive. You know, when I had cancer, there wasn't a day I didn't cry, Alexis. I put on a happy face for visitors, but the minute they were gone, I'd break down. I had to release what I was feeling, and so do you. Dax and Carly came by before they went trick-or-treating with, with the girls. Yeah. Can I see? Yeah. <laughs> Aw. They look God. adorable. <laughs> Carly dressed her up like a cheerleader. <laughs> Alexis, you feel like you're missing out, huh? It was Molly's first Halloween, and I wanted to be there. And it's just one of the firsts that I'm going to miss. There are going to be so many other firsts for Molly. Her first words, first kiss, first love. Don't focus on the ones you've already missed. You fight, Alexis. You fight to be here for the ones that are still to come. I should do me a favor. Take this to Nicholas okay. and tell him that I'm not going to need that backup plan after all. He'll know what I mean. Okay. I'll take care of it. Do me another favor. Take care of my nephew because he really needs someone like you in his life. <laughs> yeah, I, I care about Nicholas, but I don't expect him to let his guard down until he feels safe with me again. <laughs> yeah, well, it's more than I can say for your mom. Morgan and Molly. Yeah, well, they're girls. They can't handle it like us men. Really? Okay. <laughs> Molly and Morgan are down. That leaves you. Drop the candy. Go put on some PJs. Okay? okay. I'll be up in a minute. Good night. Good night. Well, that went well. Ah, yes, and they're too tired to argue. Mm -hmm. So it's this one. She, she's exhausted, so I'm going to take her upstairs and put her back. Okay. And when you come down, you can tell me what you're up to. Well, congratulations, Counselor. You successfully blocked my petition for sole custody. Playing on your illness again. Bravo. Well done. I'm playing on my strengths. You might well have been advised to do the same thing, Rick. 
Petitioning the court was an obvious and a sloppy thing to do when it's not going to fare well in family court. No, no court in the entire land is going to fault the father for wanting to spend more time with his little girl, especially when the mother is so gravely ill and she can't be with her. I didn't fault you for wanting to spend time with your little girl. You made a stupid, stupid assumption, Rick. And any judge worth his salt is going to take exception to a father who sleeps with his child's sister. Mm. I see. Well, regardless of my past indiscretions, I'm in a much better bargaining position than you may think. <laughs>